Hello guys and welcome to Master Coding Channel. In this tutorial, we will continue with the complete Android developer course and the Android Jetpack course. And we will start learning about data binding and how to make an app that uses the data binding inside it. So the video tutorials are available on our YouTube channel, Master Coding. So subscribe now to get latest tutorials free for 100%. Don't miss to download Master Android, Master Android Pro applications from play store and so you get all the, these lessons written for free let's start making our uh, uh, learning about data binding and then the next tutorial will be making the application that uses the data binding it is a part of android architecture components it support library that allows us to bind the ui components in the layout to data resources and this is done in a declaration format rather than doing it programmatically. So it reduces the boilerplate code a lot. It helps us to keep the code very organized since it has a defined, a definite uh, project architecture structure with the help of data binding, then no more need for or of a bind view by ID method. It offers flexibility and compatibility, and it is supported API level 14 or higher. View versus data. What is the difference between the view binding and data binding? You may uh, uh, be confused or you may hear by uh, what uh, view binding and data binding. So what are these and how they differ and what we are going to use in our uh, architecture components. We have established by it at this point, the calling bind view by ID is not the best approach as it lacks angle elegance type or null safety. So now let's configure out the difference between the view binding API and data binding library. The usability. First of all, using both APIs requires enabling through Gradle. However, generating a data binding class requires wrapping the layout file into a special layout tag for view binding changes to the layout file are not require, required. If you are not understanding, don't, don't worry, we are going to clarify everything in, in, uh, in a big um, in a, in a detailed application that go through the data binding and other architecture components. The only difference will be the way the layout is inflated. A view binding class will be auto generated with the same name as the layout file, but in camel case with the binding suffix appended. So when having a main activity .xml, they will be end up with main activity binding. First of all, val, val Binding main activity binding dot inflate layout inflator and set content binding dot root. After that, we are all set to call viewed through the binding binding dot button binding dot text view and other widgets. So in this way, we are going to use the data binding. The speed view binding API is faster than data binding as it is not utilizing the annotations processors underneath. So introducing view binding solves the performance issues. Third, type and the null safety. View binding is a type and null safe as the data binding. So no difference in, at all. The code, here is the steps a step or a step by step on how to add the view binding to your applications. First of all, make sure to use Android Studio 3.6 and up to enable it in the Gradle file for this module Android view binding and Android uh, enabled equal true. Note you can disable it for a specific layout file by adding this to the root layout tag. Tools view binding ignore equal true so if you don't need uh, uh, first of all if you need using the view the 
the view binding you are going to add at the gradle file the, at the model file android view model if view binding enabled equal true if you don't need to use the android uh, data binding and specifically out please add the tools dot or two points or uh, a view binding ignore equal true then a binding class will be auto generated for every layout XML file you have. You can access it by the name similarly as data binding classes. If you have activity underscore main dot XML, then your auto generator class will be activity main binding. In fourth step, inflate the binding class with the layout inflator. Private result profile binding binding on create we first of all binding result profile binding dot inflate get layout inflator and view equal view binding dot get root and send content to view follow the same pattern for the fragment use inflator available on, on create view and just return binding dot root start accessing your views if you have a text view with the id name you can access it in this way binding.name.text equal master coding channel. In this way, we have implemented the data binding class. In next video, we are going to start with the, uh, or the next component will be the life cycle aware. But first of all, let's create the data binding application that uses, uh, uh, that clarifies all details about using the Android binding so let's move to android studio and start making the data binding application thank you guys see you in next videos i hope you subscribe and comment below and comment below